What's up guys, it is Chris back with another watch video. Today we have SYE on the channel. This is Start Your Engine. It's a brand that is inspired by the automotive industry and they have a lot of bespoke components to this watch. The case is really very bespoke. The strap especially is really bespoke. It's very, very cool. The way that they've put this together um, and for a micro brand to do something like this, it is actually very special. So I'm gonna get right into it. It comes in an outer sleeve, which is just cardboard. Inner box is a cardboard box. It has a little magnetic enclosure right here. You open it up and inside the cover, it just says start your engine. And this is called the motion. Uh, and then there's just some information on the watch. There's warranty card, a thank you card, things like that. Um, and here is the watch, essentially in three parts. You can see one, two, three, and then there is a drawer on the side that has the strap with the actual buckle. So you could take this out and just place it there. I'm gonna take out all of the components out of here and we're gonna put it together very quickly. It's actually very, very easy. So there's a tool. This is a very nicely weighted tool. It's made out of stainless steel. I think it's just a solid piece of stainless steel. It's just a little tool that you use to actually screw in the case back, which is what actually holds on the straps. So, or each side of the strap. So uh, that is also signed. So I'm gonna put that aside. Then you have this little screw. It's a little blue screw. Um, I don't think it's heat blued. Might be, but I'm not sure. I think it's just iodized. And then you have uh, the case back, as I mentioned, and then of course the watch. So this is a silver dial watch, and it has sort of a, uh, a brushing on it, which looks really good. In person, you have a 24 hour dial, blue accents, really a beautiful dial on here. So very quickly, uh, all I'm gonna do is turn over the watch, put it down on my table. I'm gonna take the strap. I'm going to uh, just put the strap basically right where it fits in to the case, very easy very intuitive um, and all you need to do is hold it there for just a second until you grab this part you just drop that in and once you do um, make sure it just sits down flat it does and there you go now it's in its place all you need to do is put in the screw um, so it's very very easy and what I did in the first time I've done this is uh, not, not the first time I've done it, excuse me. Uh, I just started out with my finger and now it's completely in place. I still hold the plate in place while I do this and then I just tighten it with this uh, like sort of tool, I guess you would call it a screwdriver. And you just give it a few turns until it gets to an area where you get some resistance. I give it a little bit more and there you go. That's it. It is on and it is secure. Pretty interesting little system here. And this is not something I've ever seen on any other watch brand. So I'm pretty sure they basically designed this from scratch. There is no other strap manufacturer that I know that uh, make this or use this sort of system where there's a case back. Um, if I'm wrong, please tell me in the comments below. Now, uh, one thing that I did find out from the owner of the brand when I was speaking to him about his watches, he told me that this strap is manufactured by, for them, by Jean Rousseau. If you guys are familiar with Ming and other watch brands like that, um, very high-end watch strap. So uh, if you walk into their store on Madison Avenue here in New York City, uh, you're going to spend a few hundred dollars on a cab leather strap. This one has it already, and it's actually a very, very special uh, sort of strap because of the system that it uses. So um, this is made by them, which is really very cool. Now the case itself is also very bespoke, um, and it is also custom made for this brand. So it's uh, a lot of custom work goes into this watch. Sapphire Crystal, this is a 40 millimeter watch. It comes out to a little bit more than that. There's like these little crown guards right here, but they don't really stick out very much. But it's about 40 millimeters is what I've measured a few times, like 40.6, 40.7, just around there. The lug to lug is going to be a little bit big because of the actual nature of the strap. It does not go directly down. It does not fold directly down because it is integrated directly into the case. This is a true lugless design. 
uh, which is you know not very common. I think you get around 53 millimeters, somewhere around there. Yep. Um, and then the thickness is around 13 and change, I believe is what I measured. That's including the sapphire crystal, which is sitting a little bit higher off the case, but not much. Um, and it is not domed, it is flat. So you get a flat sapphire crystal. Uh, the bezel is basically all brushed. The case is essentially all brushed as well. The crown is a little bit polished and that is just about 5.4 millimeters. So on the small side, it is signed with an S. Uh, for the brand name 50 meters of water resistance because uh, obviously this would be a very hard case to make uh, into a dive watch so I think it's more of a sport everyday watch something like that uh, you do get a 24 hour uh, dial right there on the uh, on the dial itself you can see it does not hack now that is because this gets a Miyota 8 series movement now I'm not sure why they chose to go with the Miyota 8 series movement um, hopefully in future iterations they choose to go with something different um, or at least get the hacking version of the Miyota 8 series but you get a date here um, and it is a really good looking watch it's just a really cool watch for what uh, for your money I mean I, it is expensive on the same sort of breath because it's $745 or something like that uh, which I think is expensive but at the same time, it's not. I know it's expensive when you're considering that you're getting an 8-series movement inside, but it's not expensive when you're considering the amount of um, you know, customization and work that went into this case, the amount of customization and work that went into the strap, the development that, that they had to go through with, uh, with obviously, Jean Rochot, who, who are a very, very high-end manufacturer of straps. So I can imagine that this cost a lot of money to manufacture, and I don't think they're probably making a lot of money on this watch, considering all of those other factors. But really quickly, let me throw it on my wrist so we could take a look, and then uh, we will do a loom shot, because there is loom, but I believe there is only loom on the hands, but I'm not 100% sure about that. But we will do a loom shot just to check it out, but let me throw it on my wrist really quickly. Before I do, Today I am wearing a new brand to the channel, another new brand. This is Charlie Paris. It's a really cool limited edition watch called the Concordia. And it has uh, a Salida SW200 and uh, I believe it's assembled in France. Just a really good looking watch. It has like a blue Fumé dial, uh, applied indices. Just really, really interesting watch. Uh, anyway. Talk about interesting watches. This is a really interesting watch. So I'm not going to even, I could just throw it on my wrist like this so you guys could see. But I had it sized for my wrist, but there you go. So you could see, this is a 40 millimeter watch, but it does not wear like a 40 millimeter watch. It definitely wears like a 42, 41 millimeter. That's because of the integrated bracelet. It's also on the thicker side, slightly thicker side. Um, but I think it just looks really cool. Honestly, you have applied indices here on the dial. It just says SYE and then it just says 24 automatic. Uh, I believe the 24 is referring to the uh, 24 hour indicator right there. Sort of a day night it has that dark half and then a light half. And then you have this beautiful sort of brushed stainless steel looking dial. It really is nice. You have a chapter ring that's very sloped and you have that blue, those blue accents that match that blue hand. Um, and that 24 is also in blue. Really just beautiful. And the uh, indices are all polished. You do have a date at 3 o'clock. I really do like the design of this watch. I think it's really designed well. Um, I wish that in the future they would choose a different movement. Even if they put a hacking version of the Miyota 8 series in here. Uh, I think that would be better. But either way, I could look past it because I think it's really cool. For the price, you're getting something very, very interesting something that is not very common something that took a lot of money to make i would say uh and you're getting something like the jean rousseau uh strap like i said companies like ming use this strap that's pretty good um this is a cab leather strap directly from them they manufacture it for them uh which is really very very nice anyway very quickly let's do a loom shot and then wrap up the video so there's loom on here. It's not an incredible amount. 
just on the hands. Like I said, I thought there might be a little bit on the indices, but there isn't. Um, that's unfortunate, but it's not a big deal. This is a really interesting watch. Like I said, it sort of reminds me of IkePod a little bit. Uh, like that sort of brand that is more about design. Uh, they've designed the watch to the point where it is really something that you can't get anywhere else. They've done something here that I have never seen, and I've seen thousands upon thousands of watches, and this system is something very, very interesting. The strap is really interesting. It's just a really interesting look, and for a micro brand to do that, uh, come out with something that is completely different, it's very difficult. The lack of loom, I forgive that, and then of course, the fact that it does not hack. I can forgive that. The price is on the pricier side, but I definitely think it's worth the money considering all of the other factors, as I mentioned. So you have to really take a hard look at this uh, and think about it. Do you want something that's really cool, uh, that has something that is really not out there, something that you can't find out there in the, in the watch world uh, for a pretty good price when you consider it? You know, that's something you have to consider. Uh, anyway, tell me what you guys think in the comments below. I want to hear from you guys. Please also don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell icon. It is super helpful for the channel. I very much appreciate it. Please follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is watchchrisblog. I have some links in the description. Those links are to Amazon. If you click those links and buy anything, it helps support the channel. It doesn't cost you anything extra. However, I very much appreciate it. Anyway, thank you for logging on. I'll catch you guys in the next video.